We've all been there, at a job we can't stand, underpaid, overworked, and underappreciated. Just counting down the hours on the clock, waiting until you can finally clock out and go home to have a little bit of relaxation. You dream about going into your boss's office tomorrow so that you can tell him everything you've been holding in for the past few months, and then quitting and walking out of there forever. This is a feeling that I know all too well, and as of two weeks ago, I finally got to not live out that scenario completely. I'm afraid I don't have some crazy big quitting story to tell you, but I did quit my job, just not in as big a fashion. I just emailed in my letter of resignation to my boss and gave my two weeks notice, and my boss didn't respond for several days, and and when he actually did, it was just to cut that notice down to one week, which basically meant that they didn't want to pay my salary for an extra week. I also made sure to do my best to avoid any awkward interactions with them at all, and then I left. Hi everyone, I'm Carson, and I'm going to tell you about why I quit my job and why I think it's in your best interest to do the same. I'm going to cover exactly what the Great Resignation is, the reasons people are leaving their jobs in record numbers this year, and what things you should know if you are also thinking about quitting your job. You may have heard that people have been voluntarily quitting their jobs this year at a higher rate than any other time in history. This mass quitting phenomenon has been coined the Great Resignation. A record 4 million workers quit their job in April of this year, and the trend is still continuing. In a recent survey, 65% of Americans said that they are looking for a new job. So why exactly are Americans quitting their jobs? To answer this, we're going to have to rewind a little bit. It all started back in early 2020, when the illness caused the entire US economy to basically shut down, and many employers had to let go of their employees, which resulted in a record 22 million workers being laid off in just the two months following the illness. The government sent out multiple stimulus checks and increased unemployment benefits, which has made it possible for millions of Americans to live without having to work. As the economy continued to suffer, strangely, workers actually continued to quit their jobs in large numbers. This isn't typically what happens in times of economic uncertainty. For example, in 2008, during the Great Recession, which is when the real estate market crumbled and triggered a huge global financial crisis, the US quit rate decreased from 2% to 1.3%. So why would people choose to voluntarily quit their jobs when everything in life is so uncertain? One reason is because in the last year, people have been forced to spend more time indoors, unable to do the things that they would normally do to consume their time. We've had a lot of free time to reflect on what we truly want to do with our lives. Are we truly happy with our career or is there another opportunity out there that's better suited to us and that would make us feel more fulfilled? Whether that be a new job or starting our own business. According to a study by Adobe, this exodus from jobs is being driven by millennials and Gen Z who are apparently more likely to be dissatisfied with their work and want a greater work-life balance. And as for the boomers, well, they grew up working three jobs while studying full-time, also whilst raising a family, or so they say. So they don't really care as much about work-life balance, which is why they're not quitting their jobs as much as we are. I feel like a lot of us who lived really busy lives before 2020 didn't actually spend enough time carefully making the right moves to be in a career that we truly enjoy now. And when we were posted up in our house for several months with nothing to do, it's almost as if a light bulb went off in our heads and we realized we had to do something to change that. Another reason that people are quitting their jobs is because of companies attempting to bring employees back into the office. When the illness started, lots of businesses allowed their employees to work remotely for the time, and this proved that the majority of office jobs can really be done completely remotely. And employees realized this and also preferred to work from home. Personally, I'll never work an in-person job again if I don't have to. There's just way too many benefits to working remotely. I mean, better work-life balance, no commute, which saves time and money on gas, and you're working from the comfort of your own home instead of being stuck in a cubicle all day with people you don't like, and according to the data, increased work performance and productivity comes from working remotely. But even though all of these benefits seem so apparent to like 99% of us, there's always that one guy that's just like, oh my gosh, I love interacting with my team in person, and I just would love to see all your smiling faces every morning. Whereas I'm just sitting there like, okay, Eric, so let me get this straight. You want me to be ready by 7.30 in the morning, commute an hour into the city in rush hour traffic and lose the only bit of work-life balance I've ever had just so you can sit there and see everyone's smiling faces and feel like a big shot in your office. It just really doesn't make any sense. And there's really only one explanation for why Eric is like this. Eric is, in fact, a boomer. 
And sorry to any boomers watching this video because I know this is like the second time I've come at you. Well, actually, according to my YouTube analytics, there are no boomers that watch my videos, so I should be okay. Anyways, it does seem to be the less tech savvy older generation that have been doing things the same way for the past 30 years that are leading this return to the office movement. And now with many more remote work positions available, employees are choosing not to return to the office and instead quit their jobs to find a permanent remote position. And the the final reason people are still quitting their jobs in mass is because now in 2021, a ton of jobs have been added back into the labor market. Meanwhile, unemployment is still very high because a lot of people are still choosing not to work. And this has resulted in a record number of open jobs on the market. There are actually around 1 million more job openings than people looking for work right now. For me, it feels like the job market has been ruled by the employer for the longest time. But finally, the power is now in the hands of the job seeker. Employers right now are struggling to hire good talent and are having to raise salaries for open positions just to hire good employees. People are taking advantage of this demand for workers and quitting their jobs for positions that they're more passionate about that also pay better. And that's the exact reason I quit my job. When I first graduated college, I actually found it quite hard to find a job. Despite graduating from a good college with pretty good grades and experience, I found myself struggling to even land an interview. So I decided to take an internship with the thought process that it would boost my resume and I'd have a better chance to get out there and find a good job. So I started my internship and within the first few weeks of my position there, the company actually posted a job opening for a full-time project manager. And this was the type of work that I was sort of looking for. So I decided to interview and I ended up getting the position. I liked the job of being a project manager, but I was not the greatest fan of the company and I knew they were severely underpaying me. So when the job market improved, I decided to see what other opportunities might be out there. So I started applying to project manager positions for companies that I actually liked and it was a bit different this time because I actually started hearing back from them. I was getting lots of interviews and even some job offers. I ended up accepting an offer from a great company with a massive increase in pay. So I'm actually starting my new job tomorrow and I'm planning on releasing this video tomorrow as well. So please comment down below wishing me luck. It will definitely ease my nerves for the next few weeks and it's also pretty good for the YouTube algorithm. Actually, you know what? Go ahead and like this video as well. I'll definitely feel better at my new job if I open up the YouTube studio app and see that this video has a ton of likes on it. So if you're unsure about quitting your job at this time because you're unhappy, underpaid, or whatever reason you might have, I recommend just taking a look at other open positions. You could find your dream job. And now you're so much more likely to actually get some interviews or job offers than you were this time last year. And there's no commitment necessary. You could literally get multiple job offers and decide not to take them, but it's just worth it to explore your options. Also, if you're thinking about quitting your job to start your own business instead, then I recommend starting that business as a side hustle while you still have your full-time job. And if you see good success with it, then you can consider quitting your job. And if it's something you can't start before quitting, your job, then make sure you at least have a good amount of savings to fall back on when you do quit your job. Always have a plan in mind and don't make any rash decisions just based on one bad day at work. But that's all from me today. I'm so excited to start this new chapter in my life and I hope you can find a position you're happier about as well because that's probably why you're watching this video is because you're unhappy in your current role. But I'll see you in the next one and wish me luck on my first day. Take care.